Welcome back to another video, fitness fans and lovers. So as you all know right now, most of the world is stuck indoors, stuck in quarantine. And I've been seeing a lot of posts on social media from people saying, oh, I can't wait until things are back to normal and I can go to the gym. I can't wait until the gyms reopen. Now, I personally think this is just going to be one of those New Year's resolution things that we see happen every single year, where people say they're gonna start using the gym and for the first three, four days of January, it's packed, it's full of people. But after that, everyone gives up and it's back to normal. So I thought today I'd bring you a quarantine home workout tutorial that you can do as you're watching this video or after you've watched the video. I'm going to show you how to work all parts of the body with homemade equipment because I know not everyone has a barbell or a pair of dumbbells just laying around at home. Although if you do have the official equipment, you can still follow this tutorial and do the exercises. In fact, it's probably better if you do have a proper barbell, but that being said, let's go out to the garage. I'm going to try my best to find something I can rig up this homemade setup with. birds interrupting the video, how rude. So this piece of equipment we're gonna make is gonna allow us to perform different kinds of exercises. It's a multi-purpose piece of equipment. I think, pr I'm pretty sure we can all make something like this. It might be slightly different for you, depending on what you can find around your house or in the garage or in the attic. But the, it, at the end of the day, it's the same thing. It, it does the same thing. So what you're gonna need first of all is something long like a stick or a pole or something. I'm gonna use this. Can you even see? I'm gonna use this, just an old broomstick that I found in the garage. It's been in there for about 15 years. So we're gonna try and... Yeah, that works. You want something that's open on both ends, right? We're trying, we're trying to replicate a barbell here. So a stick works as long as it's thick enough to not break. And then you want something heavy to put on either side of it. Bricks are good because they're heavy, but not only that, they have holes in it too. So you can actually just fit it on like that. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. It's almost like this home workout was destined. So if we put that, ah, that's a bit of a problem. Can you see that? There's a nail and it's stopping it from going in to the hole. Great. Okay, that should be good enough. It doesn't go through the entire thing. And there you go, we've made our own barbell, very safe. Nothing could go wrong. The only problem is uh, the bricks could fall off and possibly break your toes. So what I'd say is don't like wobble it. Don't just keep it straight and try not to let that happen. As you can see, it's a brilliant way of building up those meaty biceps. If it's too light for you, you can just put some more bricks on the end of it. Now, if you don't have any bricks or if you don't have like anything that fits onto the end like this, then don't worry because what you can do is you can get a regular bag, put the bricks in the bag and then attach the bag to the end of the bar. Obviously, just make sure that the bricks don't tear through the bag and break your toes. Disclaimer, I am not responsible for any damages or injuries that may occur from this video. If you try out this routine, if you try and do this, you accept and understand that there is a, a risk of something something going wrong and something possibly horrible happening. Now that we got that out of the way, we can move on to the exercises. So again, first one was bicep curls. I'd say you want to aim for about 20 reps, three sets of those. Now we're going to work on the triceps. This is really going to make your arms look thick. Although this one is a bit more dangerous because you do have to lift the piece of equipment over your head. You're going to get a nice stretch in. Now again, this is dangerous because the bricks aren't fastened onto the pole. So they could fall off at any moment or even slide down the bar and smash into the side of my head. But we're gonna hope that, that doesn't happen and we're gonna get a nice tricep exercise in. Okay, and we're gonna, yep, just like that. Apologize for the armpit hair that you probably just saw. After that, we're gonna move on to the shoulders. This one is simple. You just wanna push it up overhead like that. Really gonna work the uh, shoulders here. Now to work legs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it over just like that. Traps, you can just grab the barbell and do some shrugs with it, nice and simple. Now to work the chest, you preferably want a bench for this. I'm not gonna make a homemade bench because I wouldn't trust it enough to lie down on it, especially with uh, this homemade barbell. But if you can make a bench, if you're confident in your bench making skills, then go ahead. If you're not though, we're gonna do some on the floor bench pressing. And that's it, that's how you can get in a full body muscle building workout in at home with homemade equipment. If you want abs, well, that's gonna come down to more than just working out and doing exercises. You're gonna need to diet and stuff for that, and I'm not into all that, okay? You can go somewhere else if you wanna do that. Again, disclaimer, this is just an example. I would not recommend doing these exercises with something like this. Make sure whatever you rig up is safe. Any injuries or broken bones that may occur from this video are not my fault. You're, it, it, you try this at your own risk. That being said, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this fitness tutorial. Definitely subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you all in my
my next video.